The opioid epidemic has ravaged America, leaving families and physicians asking, how can I stop this? Now a new clinical trial aims to treat addiction by going inside the brain. Doctors at West Virginia University Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute, they're trying deep brain stimulation to treat opioid addicts. And DBS, for folks that don't know, essentially brain surgery implants electrodes deep in the brain, and they are designed to produce impulses that can regulate abnormal impulses. It's fascinating, the whole concept. Of course, could this help? We don't know yet, but one of the researchers in this trial is the director of addiction services at West Virginia University, Dr. James Berry. Joining us via Skype, I'll tell you what, Dr. Barry, we have we've spent so much time on this show talking about how to treat people who are in this crisis, this opioid epidemic. Addiction is so difficult. How are you guys using deep brain stimulation to potentially treat these recalcitrant cases? What we do is we are targeting the areas of the brain that are responsible for cravings and impulses that keep people doing some of these things that are just really, really dangerous, despite the fact that they don't want to continue to do the drugs, they continue to find themselves using because of this. How many patients do you have in the trial so far? So the trial is designed to have four patients, and we have one that we've enrolled and actually did the surgery on last week, and so we're currently recruiting for three more. And Dr. Bear, I mean, the possibilities are endless here. It could be. Uh, you know, we, we remain cautiously optimistic, and we don't want to oversell anything at this point. A uh, healthy degree of skepticism, but we do know there is a common pathway in the brain that's responsible for all addictions and the reward pathway where dopamine is being released. And this is an area to, to really target and see if we get some success. And Dr. Barry, during this surgery, walk us through, because you've had one patient go through it. They're awake, I gather, and are you showing them images? Are you, how are you trying to get a sense for where these electrodes should be placed to dampen that desire um, to, to use opiates, if you will. Yeah, so that you're right. They are awake during the procedure and we're showing them pictures and then the patient is gonna respond about how they are doing with their cravings and their level of anxiety and this sort of thing. We know where to place the electrodes and the nucleus accumbens, this deep area of the brain that's responsible for the reward center. And then we're able to uh, send the pulses to adjust the cravings based on what they're telling us. I'm curious, and this is part of the trial, I'm sure, but when you dampen the rewards or the desire, the impulses for drugs, does it change potentially the way the brain works and rewards itself for other things? Uh, because obviously we need food, we need water, we need a lot of things to survive. Do we know when you're implanting these, these uh, electrodes and you're affecting the reward system or the desire system, does it affect other elements as well? What this particular technique allows us to do is actually calibrate the um, degree of impulses that we're sending. And so if we find that we're turning off too much of the reward center, then we could tone that down. If we find that we're doing uh, too little, then we could turn it up. So we don't wanna give somebody a depression, for instance, by, by toning it down uh, too little. And we don't wanna put somebody in a manic episode by giving them too much.